All right. I'm going to show you how to improvise just like that, how to play something beautiful on the piano that you can play anytime you want. And it, you don't have to know anything on piano. I'm going to show you everything. This is a beginner's, beginner's lesson, I suppose, on improvising or just making sound that doesn't sound like shit. So it starts with knowing what a, key, what, what a C chord is because this is all in the key of C. So a C chord, well, let's start with what C is. This note right here is a C. And you're going to find this next to the two black keys. The piano has a pattern, right? Two black keys, and then next to it, two, uh, three black keys. And then two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys, right? So the C is always this note on the left side of the two black keys. And it doesn't matter anywhere on the piano, right? Two black keys, that's C. Two black keys, that's C. Two black keys, that's C. So now you have that, C. Now to make a C chord, a triad chord, um, it's made up of C, E, and G. If you know those notes already, then cool. It's helpful. If you don't, well, this is C, and then you just go through the alphabet going anywhere up this up the piano to the right anyway so yeah c d and e right so that's the note we want for the second right um then the next note is g right so e f and g and all three all three of those notes together makes a c chord the triad and that's what you need to, really that's what we're working with is on C. Okay. Now what I'm doing on the left hand is I'm tr I'm just pulsing the C chord. But you'll notice that sounds really bad. Well, I think it sounds bad. Maybe it sounds good to you. You know, music is subjective. But uh, <laughs> it sounds very too much, right? So I'm not playing the middle note, which is E. I'm keeping it out. So I'm doing a shell, essentially, which is C and G. You're just droning. I'm just going on like this. Pulsating. Pulsing. Pulsing it? You're just moving along with it. Now, if you're, like, really, really beginner and you can't figure that out, <laughs> you can do this with just one note. You could just do C on the left hand. Right? It's going to sound good no matter what. Now on the right hand, this is what's really cool and how I think everybody can play this. Anybody can play. So this is really cool because on the right hand, you can play any note as long as it's a white key, right? Doesn't even matter. You don't even have to think like, oh, what's the theory, blah, blah, blah. No, as long as it's a white key, it'll sound good. might be wondering why that sounds good okay well it sounds good because the C major scale is made up of all the white keys and we're in the C key of C that's why it sounds really cool and it's really easy to learn right so now that you know that just mess around keep that drone going literally play anything you want right be creative find anything you want right if once you feel comfortable with that, that you can add the shell right c and g i think it sounds a lot more more full i guess i suppose it sounds better sounds really nice right just you can do this for, for hours on end just getting lost in it
it's great. You can challenge yourself now if you get too bored, I guess. Not that you should, right? Because this is really like therapeutic, if you will. But we can up it, challenge yourself more now. So instead of make me droning over here, we're gonna alternate C and G. Right? So I'm doing it with the pinky and the thumb because it's it fits there, right? Now you've got the left hand like just bouncing back and forth, rocking back and forth. And just just mess around. That sounded nice. You know? It's really nice, just mess around. And then you could go back to just drones. So you might be noticing that when I'm playing, the notes are ringing out still, and even though I'm not touching the piano. And that's because I have the sustain pedal on. You'll notice most keyboards or pianos, they have a pedal and that just allows the that allows those keys to ring out the notes, right? So if you have a sustain pedal, I'm just holding it down. It sounds really nice, really resonant, I suppose, if that's the right word. If you don't have a pedal, it's okay. You can still do this. Instead of lifting your hand off of these uh, notes on the C and G, hold it. Do the sustain yourself with the left hand, right? Then the right hand, well, you just mess around. It's not gonna be sustained, but it's still gonna sound nice. Maybe not as nice, but you can also hold the notes, right? Still make it work out but get a sustain pedal it's so much better I'm like damn just do it like listen to that you know it's just it's so good so get a sustain pedal all right so let's try adding multiple notes on the right hand and by that i mean uh, you're gonna keep c but we're gonna play another key just like that and it doesn't even matter just two notes as long as you're still playing a C. Yeah. Any one of these combinations. Any one of those combinations. It's going to sound good. It sounds so great. Mix it up now, you know, with the single notes. I don't know, just play around with it. These are our intervals, really, right? Second interval, third interval, fourth interval, fifth. Six, seventh, eighth. Maybe I'll do another video on intervals if you don't know what that is, because I don't really even know what they are truly. I don't know how to explain it. It's the distance between two notes, which so in this case C, and then the distance between C and G is five. One, two, three, four, five, and so that's a fifth interval. A fifth interval. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this helped. Not, don't consider myself a real teacher. I'm learning myself. I consider myself maybe intermediate at most, or you know, beginner in a lot of aspects. And I'm gonna try to make videos more often, and we can learn together. I'll see you next time. Bye.